It's all about the job market today on Wall Street. The government is expected to report that 90,000 new jobs were created in November and that the unemployment rate moved up slightly. Analysts say a weak jobs report could give the Federal Reserve one more reason to cut interest rates at next week's meeting. While well, stocks rallied on Thursday ahead of that report after President Bush laid out the details of his mortgage plan, which is expected to help about a million homeowners avoid foreclosure. The Dow gained nearly 175 points while the Nasdaq closed up 42. Falling home prices and growing mortgage debt are cutting Americans' net worth. U.S. households lost a record $128 billion in real estate equity in the third quarter. That's compared to a $237 billion jump in equity last year. And you'd better get used to $3 gasoline. Analysts say despite the recent $10 drop in oil prices, Crude is still at historical highs, and as a result, gas prices are not expected to drop below $3 a gallon for some time. That's your Money Watch. Log on to CBSNews.com for the latest business headlines. In New York, I'm Alexis Christophorus.